lawmaker says the need for volunteer firefighters has reached a crisis level in Pennsylvania. They're always in need. Let's go to our Meredith our reporter, Meredith Jorgensen, joining us live now from Harrisburg with more on this. Meredith, good morning. Good morning, Lori and Jerry. Most of us in Pennsylvania have volunteer firefighters in our town. I know I do. I have the new Danville Fire Company. The problem, though, there are half as many volunteer firefighters today as there were just 20 years ago. So now lawmakers here at the state capitol are explaining why this is now a crisis stage. News 8 was in Elizabethville, Dauphin County last week, where dozens of volunteer firefighters worked to put out the flames. But in general, most fire departments are having trouble attracting young people to the fire service and even keeping the firefighters they already have. The reason for that, the time commitment for many people is just too much. Plus, there are hours and hours of state-mandated trainings each year. This week, a state senator from western Pennsylvania acknowledged the problem and offered some solutions to reverse the trend. That includes state money for things like education, reimbursement, training, and tax credits. Fire chiefs say those kind of investments could help bring in more volunteers and could be cheaper than the alternative. Because so much of, of our population is protected by volunteers, if we lose them, the cost to taxpayers to replace them with uh, full-time career firefighters will be exceedingly high, which will be reflected in, in very high taxes. So uh, we really need to find a solution to the problem. Well, firefighting isn't cheap. Deputy Chief Chief Usden says his Lancaster Township Fire Department just bought this new pumper truck for $600,000, and that's not even the most expensive truck they have. But, Lori and Jerry, you know, if your house is on fire, you want someone to show up. So they're really hoping that the state legislature can help solve this problem. That's the latest here at the state capitol. Back to you guys. Yeah, thank goodness they do what they do. All right, Meredith, thank you.